The G20 summit in Hamburg brought world leaders together at a time of major uh, shift in the global geopolitical environment. One sticking point, though, a separate paragraph on Washington's stance on the Paris Climate Accord was added, breaking with tradition. With more details on the final agreement the leaders uh, reached, Kim Hesong reports. World leaders wrapped up the G20 summit on Saturday local time with concessions on trade and climate change. In their final declaration, all G20 countries vowed to keep global markets open, noting the importance of reciprocal and mutually advantageous trade and investment frameworks, and pledged to continue to fight protectionism. But for the first time, the summit communique also stated the right of countries to protect their markets with legitimate trade defense instruments, wording that is widely understood as a concession to U.S. President Donald Trump, who's pushing on with his America First policy. The U.S. and other members also wrangled over climate change in light of President Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement last month. What becomes clear in this declaration is the dissenting view of the United States. But I am gratified to note the other 19 members of G20 say the Paris Agreement is irreversible. In the communique, 19 countries took note of the U.S. withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement, but declared the agreement to be irreversible and continued to call for its rapid implementation. For its part, the U.S. injected a line saying that it will work closely with other countries to help them access and use fossil fuels more cleanly and efficiently. On top of trade and climate change, the G20 leaders vowed to fight terrorism, address human trafficking, and take measures to eliminate child labor by 2025. Next year's G20 summit will be held in Argentina. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.